I'm going to try to show you something real quick here. I'm using my um, program that records what I'm doing while I'm working since I'm going to try to make this a short lesson because usually it don't freeze up when I'm doing a short lesson. You see these robots I've made. Now something you may have noticed about them. Parts of them are like rubber. As you can watch here, I'm going to move his midsection. You see that gray part? It's not metal. It's like a rubber or something and you see all the red parts on them they um they uh they're like hard metal they don't bend and stuff in the same way on this guy you can see his torso if you move it and his legs they're soft they're like some kind of rubber and these parts are um metal they're hard they don't deform you can see with his chest if i select his chest and move it See, the chest does not deform any, but his midsection does. Now, how did I get it to do that? You can, if you want to, just do a skin bind, and then you have to paint skin weights to um, get it like that. You'd have to paint solid weights all across that um, section. But that takes time. There's an easier way, and I'm going to show you how I did it today. Let me go to shading and go to x-ray. Now, if I select the joint, you see there? Everything that's solid metal is parented to the skeleton. Like that. Now, here's the trick I found out. Everything that's parented to the skeleton will not bind to the skeleton. No, will not bind when you do a um, soft bind you can parent it everything to the skeleton that you need to then you shift select all the parts that you want to bind to the skeleton like that and the neck and when you go to skin bind smooth bind and you click on that It'll bind all the parts that you selected after you selected the skeleton, and it won't bind the parts that are parented. And what you have after that is everything that was parented doesn't get bound. It stays, it doesn't deform. It stays like a solid piece of metal. And everything that was bound, like the midsection and the legs here, when you move them, you'll see they deform they're not like a solid piece of metal and I found this out just by messing around with um Maya and it's the same thing with this guy if I select his root joint everything on him that's solid is parented to the skeleton everything on him that's soft isn't it's bound to the skeleton so if you're making a robot like one of these guys and you want parts of them to be a hard metal you want parts of them to move and um, not deform that's the way you do it parent what you want to be a solid piece of metal to the skeleton bind what you want to be a soft rubber or whatever to the skeleton and then that's the way you do it you have soft rubber and you have hard metal and it's a lot easier than if you just bound the whole thing to the skeleton and then went through and painted skin weights to what you wanted solid and it saves a lot of time. Well, this is just a quick lesson. That I hope the thing don't freeze up on me because it wasn't that long of a lesson. It shouldn't. This is the unpicked one. Y'all take it easy.